Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute roar. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Ben Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Introducing the challenger, Bruce the Dragon. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Magic Man. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to build up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out for you. They touch him up, and we are underway. to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Oh, nice. He loaded up there on that high kick. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. That punch, no good. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. There's 
no give on that leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice strike. Punch is blocked. And there comes the separation now. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch by Liv. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. That one blocked by the defense. Came of inches right there, boy. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more. Oh, He's got to here. Oh! His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh! Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step. It's getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch. His misses are entertaining. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Shot is blocked there by Lee. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Head kick is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big power shot there. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Second round underway. Oh, beautiful hook. Nice leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he caught the kick. Opponent in a 
roll with Trump. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was too high, and now he's got hurt bad. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Strike land there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but he do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Hands higher, hands higher. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Straight right, he misses. Head kick. Big. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Looks like a taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Switching stances here. Another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming.